Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're gonna to talk about a very essential part of the editing process, and that is color grading. Now, if you have really good colors in your video, you're able to really differentiate yourself from the rest of the pack. You're actually gonna be able to stand out. And when people watch your video, they're gonna be like, wow, that is actually really good. With color grading, you're also able to kind of formulate your own style. Like different filmmakers have kind of like different tastes in color palettes. Some filmmakers prefer more of like those neutral, darker, moody tones, while others might prefer brighter, more saturated colors in their videos. Lastly, most of us are probably shooting in the log picture profile. And if you're shooting in log, you know you really need to color grade it to make it look nice. So this is where LUTs come in. Think of them as color presets for your shots. You slap it on and you're instantly gonna get amazing footage. Now, there's a lot of LUTs out there on the internet. Some are paid, some are free. However, what you should really look out for is whether the, the LUTs you're buying or getting from the internet is compatible with your camera and the picture profile that you're shooting in. Because if it's not compatible, the LUT's not gonna work out for you. And this is what really happened to me when I first started with videography. I remember the first LUT I bought was from Peter McKinnon. I bought this LUT thinking that it was gonna instantly transform my footage. However, when I put his LUTs on, like, I just couldn't get the same look as he did. In fact, it made my footage look worse. So it turns out a lot of his LUTs were meant for the log footage for Canon. And I was shooting in the standard picture profile. So that's why like when I put the LUTs on, it didn't work at all. So make sure that before you purchase a LUT, look carefully at the details to see whether the LUT is compatible to your camera and your picture profile. Now, I've been doing corporate and wedding projects for around five, six years now, and I've developed a steady workflow to incorporate LUTs into my color grading process. And I'm gonna show you how we do it. Now, before we get started, I want to introduce an important tool in color grading, and it's called the adjustment layer. So, go on to Google, type in adjustment layer for free, and then download the one from Ryan Nango. So what adjustment layer does, it allows you to apply to multiple clips on the timeline. So instead of putting the LUT in all these individual shots, you're putting it onto the adjustment layer and the adjustment layer would apply the LUT to all the shots that are under this adjustment layer itself. So whether you're using Premiere Pro, DaVinci or Final Cut Pro, please get the adjustment layer. Now to apply the custom LUT, go over to this icon right here and you're gonna type in custom LUT. And here on the right, it will just pop up the custom LUT tab. Now, go over here and go choose custom LUT. So go to the LUT that you've downloaded. So the LUTs that I'm using today are the LUTs that I've created for myself. I've done a lot of trial and error to create this cinematic LUT pack and we've been using this LUT pack for all our corporate projects and all our wedding projects as well. So for the first one, we're just gonna go with the basic LUT. Voila. There we go. So this is when the LUT is applied, and this is before the LUT is applied. So look how easy it is. Just by slapping on the LUT, you're able to create really nice, beautiful colors in your footage. In terms of camera settings, I was shooting in s Lot 3 with the Sony A7S III camera. So I've designed this LUT for all types of general use. Whether you're shooting a corporate event, a birthday event, a commercial shoot, or a fashion shoot, like this LUT is perfect for all of those things. So in terms of exposure, when using this LUT, the best way to expose your s Lock 3 footage is between one to two. Do not expose your s Lock 3 footage at zero because you're gonna have a lot of noise in your footage. Now in the next example, I wanna explore situations where we're filming during the golden hour, whether it's sunrise, or sunset. Here's a shot that we used as stock footage for a developer. So again, we're just gonna put in the LUT. Choose LUT. And this time I'm gonna use the LUT called Sunrise. Bam. 
So this is what it looks like with the LUT. And this is what it looks like before we apply the LUT. Now, my approach with the sunrise LUT is I really want to bring out the golden tones of shooting during a sunrise and a sunset. In terms of exposing for sunrise and sunset shots, there's actually two ways of going about it, right? You can expose for the subject, like in this shot right here. The second way is where you make your subject a silhouette. So what I mean by that is like, the subject becomes all black in terms of its shadows. And this will create a really nice shot as well as you can see here. Now I can't emphasize enough how amazing it is to shoot during sunrise or sunset because that is where the lighting conditions are the best for filmmaking. So whatever your next shoot is, try and schedule it so that you're shooting during sunrise and sunset and capturing that golden hour look. Moving on to the next one, which is blue hour. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's basically the period of time before sunrise or after sunset where like the sky is kind of like bluish, purplish. So I've actually designed a lot that's specifically suited for shots that are shot during blue hour. So again, we're gonna go custom lot and we're gonna click blue hour right here. And look at that immediately what I see is that this lot brings out the colors of the sky. You know, it really accentuates the purple and the blue tones of the image itself, giving it like a really nice cinematic look. Now in terms of exposing for blue hour, we're mainly exposing for the sky. We're not exposing for the subject itself. We really want that sky to really pop up and not be overblown at all. So that's why we expose for the sky so that we can bring out those blue and purple colors. Now for the next example, so this is a shot that we've captured during a commercial that we shot for a biking apparel. So again, we go to custom lot and we're gonna click choose custom lot right here, click forest. There we go. Look at that. You can see like the greens really shine through in this lot. And what I did for this lot as well is to make the shadows a bit bluish, just to give it a blue tint towards like the darker parts of the frame, while also really accentuating color green in the shot. And that is really what makes this shot looks really, really nice. Now, the last example I want to show you are shots that we've captured for weddings. So, because I have two different shots over here, I'm going to bring in the adjustment layer. Again, put in the custom lot, going to load it, and we're going to load wedding. Something I haven't demonstrated in this video is the color correction that I normally do after I put in a lot. A lot of times just putting in a lot isn't enough. I also need to make sure that I'm fixing any like exposure issues and any white balance issues. So for this shot itself, I feel like after putting in the LUT, it still feels a bit unexposed. So I'm just gonna go into the individual shot itself, not the adjustment layer, and just kind of like bring up the exposure. So I've designed this wedding lot with the approach of making the footage extra creamy. Really lowering the highlights and bringing up the shadows while also maintaining like a nice contrast in the footage. I also ensure that the skin tones are really golden and really shines in the footage. Now with wedding, I just want to show you one last lot that I normally use in all my wedding films. And that is the black and white lot. Now, the black and white lot is a timeless classic, all right? Like every time you see black and white, it kind of like demonstrates like timelessness and luxury, something that, a memory that you remember forever. So with the black and white lot, in terms of exposure, you still expose like the same as how you normally would, which is between one to two. So I've shown you how to use LUTs to really elevate the quality of your videos. Now there's tons of LUTs online on the internet and there's some that are free and there's some that will cost you a bit of amount of money. Just remember that before you acquire them, make sure to look at the details to see whether the LUTs are compatible with your camera and your workflow. 
However, if you want to get the same exact footage like we did, make sure you're shooting in the logged picture profile and purchase our Cinema LUT pack. Link in the description down below. We use these LUTs on a daily basis and I can say it really improved my workflow drastically. It also ensures that I have a consistent look in every one of our films that we produce for our clients. So making sure that our brand has this one style and this one look that stays consistent. We also have the Filmmaker Starter Kit, which is basically a roadmap on how we went from complete videography beginners to now full-time filmmakers building our own video production company. It includes what type of equipment we use, the video packages that we sell, and also email templates that we send to our clients as well. So all kinds of templates that we use in our journey, we've put it into this kit. So if you're interested in that, please also check it out in the link in the description down below. Anyways, if you want to learn more about the basics of color grading, please check out this video next. I'll see you next time. Stay focused.